Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies looking great and amazing like YK in the building. Yo, yo, yo. Good morning. Looking Good nice morning. and bright today. Yay. With your matching iPad kiss. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good morning. I was hoping you are going somewhere today because you're looking too fine not to go anywhere. Oh, I'm not going anywhere <laughs> except well, freedom park in the evening, sir. Right. Okay. I go and meet my darling. Oh. Anything happen? Just hanging out. Uh, just hanging out. We oh. we normally try to hang out on Fridays. Friday. You know, keeps you young. Yeah. And, How yeah, was the party just, yesterday? The party was on Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, okay, ah, okay. We, I enjoyed, we danced, yeah. and the lack of came. I was saying, make sure ah. you come to the street. I say, <laughs> see what I'm drinking. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like okay. I, you know what I don't understand about the lack of? I'm waiting for him to be 60. I hope I'm still alive when he's 60. Amen. Then I'm going to yeah. make him be waking up by 4 a.m. <laughs> I realize it's not that easy. Hey, we now realize it's not that easy. <laughs> his, business is 60 and waking up. his business is only the show. Uh, it's only the show. But, but you know you're passionate about it. He came show. to the party to come and be telling me. I said, ah, you see me at party. See what is on the table. <laughs> We understand you. Because we told Minister yesterday that, ah, why is Yeni? I said, Yeni is drunk. Ah! No. <laughs> Can you imagine? No, why he doesn't get drunk? Yenny's brother's get birthday happy? was the night before. He happy. cannot drive in the morning. I could just be careful with your kidney and your liver. No, I, I, I drink every day. One, two, what I drink is, you know, it's good for me. Just one bottle. It's, no, <laughs> it's not one bottle, it's just <laughs> two bottles. <laughs> yeah, that's it's just. Plans, so. Anyways, eh? let me just let you. But any plans for the weekend? You have a few more minutes. No, no, no. Okay, no, no. okay just hang out with the darling. Rest. You know the so kind of rest I'm, you're talking I'm about. I'm going to worry. rest. How are you doing, Nima? I'm, I want to rant. I'm, I'm losing foods. I'm losing, um, you know, um, things in my freezer. Eco disco electricity. I'm uh, telling you, it's, it's never been. I thought you used to like this guy. I Why did you tell them God Winter when he came? Okay, you're not here. I, I, I was, uh, I was like, I was fuming in my palm. And you are the component of Eco disco. Hey, Eco disco, they've been so good over the years. But this 2022 ending, they show me pepe. Pe. And all the promises to improve has not worked. Mm. I got home yesterday, two days of darkness, and everything in the freezer is melting. My daughter has birthday cake, everything. We had to trash everything. Oh, my god! I just throwing out things. And it's so painful. And they didn't the, communicate. What I cannot bear is the wastage, and they will not communicate. They used to be all top-notch communicating. Uh, uh, tell me, tell uh, but from you, I used to hear that they communicate. Top-notch. They send us SMSs, everything. Now, I'm the one that has to call to get the information. It's so annoying. Mm. Nothing is working that's, well. That's not And the it's so painful is, that I have to sit here and those say Those discos, they, they, they have the monopoly. Mm. Keja, Eko. If there were other Options. discos... Mm. Now we can, we can be give them another name. Like network. give them party. Share this yeah. was a I think they'll eventually party. more decentralized. Give them like they even try to get everybody meters first. I think maybe I'm, I'm not. I'm not speaking. I'm them. grateful for that prepaid meter because imagine that you're paying for things like this. Because mm. I have to pay for this at ah, my business have place. Prepaid. I have prepaid, but my business place doesn't have, and I pay for not getting power. It's so annoying, and what I pay is so outrageous. Mm. It's, it's not a good experience at all. Mm. Chief Gong cannot clear this one. Ah. He knows. You yeah. should have been on the show that day. He knows. Okay. You know, he was down with my bills to it's show Friday, him. guys. Let's just keep it I simple. I know, Nigeria is a lamenting yeah. matter. You yeah. yeah. must lament. Okay. If you don't lament, how will you? Because Friday. if you keep it inside, mm -hmm. you will get cancer. Abi, so so don't say it out. Lament and, and take a bottle of champagne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't take. <laughs> but let me say, uh, my hand is with uh, Tokwe Fajin. Tokwe Fajin, a friend of the house, she lost her mom. Oh. Um, and the Fidel prayer is on Sunday. My heart is with you, sis. Um, oh. I grant our agenda for it. So sorry about that. We are Amen. so rest in peace. Just yeah, confirming the news. I was. I remember. I remember her very well. Yes. You brought her on the show a few times. Okay, let's go on the break. It's Friday. When we come back, we go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Okay, we're going to start with the nation. Millions of uncollected PVCs force INEC to shift deadline. NLC, TUC, others endorse Tinubu and Songwulu. Senate urges the government to stop borrowings. Rejection of new Naira notes, a crime CBN's wants. Troops killed 50 terrorists in three weeks, says Defense Headquarters. Government will Spain to invest in gas. Security policemen, um, policemen killed in security agents, kidnappers gun duel. Okay, which story? Which your headline. Okay. Okay, so uh, my neck, after the disclosing that we have about 93.47 million registered voters have decided to shift the date of um, stopping the collection of PVCs to 29th of January for another eight days to ensure that Nigerians are able to pick. They've also done uh, an extension of a uh, collection of PVC centers from, instead of from the state's uh, INEC offices towards and, uh, local, uh, local government and wards within local government to sort of assist people to further collect their PVCs. Also in the story, they confirmed that the presidential election is holding on the 25th of uh, February and that of the governorship and the Houses of Assembly will hold for March um, next year as well. So please, and just to ensure that we take advantage of the extension and do the needful instead of us complaining. Also, allegations of extortions are being investigated by an agency that is probing uh, people claiming to have been having to pay for the PVCs when they go to those centers. So INEC is on top of it, please. Mm. So um, the CBN, it's 17 days to the day we, the, that when we cannot use the old Naira notes anymore. So... The, at last, the CBN have decided to go to the markets. They went to the um, Wuse market in Abuja, uh, where they um, were trying to sensitize the traders that accept the money, it's good. And then they were showing them that if you hold it up to the sun like this, you will see it will be glittering. So what that glittering means is not fake. Okay. And that's... Um, that's, that's what they should have done since the, the whole of the since, oh, Let's leave that one. Because I if I, I, you say I, I don't Wuse like Wuse market you is not the biggest market too. And but uh, they, going they have plans. They, for they also went the to the one in. They, they went to a, a market in market. Lagos. Um, in, uh, Balogu, they went to the Balogu market mm -hmm. in Lagos as well. Um, and it will take time, but gradually you can't mop everything up in one day. But gradually, mm -hmm. and hopefully, they are able to. Because at the end, end of this month, I think mm -hmm. you have you can't spend the old news. I have to now remove all my money. Anyways, um, yesterday there was a rally in Lagos where the TUC NLC. All endorsed Governor Sonwulu for his second term. Um, the labor movement in, in, in Lagos State also endorsed Ashwaji Bolametinumbu, saying that the model he instituted in Lagos um, is, is the best labor friendly, has, has made Lagos the best labor friendly state. They also said that um, they cited the governor's landmark achievements in Lagos and his implementation of labor friendly policies in governance. And they're all saying that they cannot be one-sided or can they, they, they have to completely stand behind Governor Sonwulu and as an extension also supporting the flag bearer of the APC presidential candidate Ashwaji Bolametinimbu. Okay, let us move on quickly now to the punch. Budget deficit rises 370%, hits 47 trillion naira under Buhari. Picture here of be guided by diplomatic practice, FG urges envoys. My wife unconscious for three days after sextuplets birth, says husband. Government Q4 and Ambra vigilantes bomb five buildings. EFCC shortlist 26 bidders for forfeited assets. 648 cases brought against president, says federal government. And ballot paper, local printer set to sue INEC. FG woos Spanish investors for seven oil blocks. Okay, which story are we starting with? I would like to start with the gunmen that killed um, four vigilantes in um, the Ihiala local government area of Anambra State. Um, they went there at, one paper said 1 a.m., this one says 2 a.m. They went there and they, <clears throat> they set, they first killed the, the vigilantes actually faced them and they, they killed four of them. One of their own men got killed. They beheaded one of the vigilantes and counted away his, and took away his head. They, they set fire to about four or five buildings. An INEC building was one of the 
uh, buildings that they set fire to. Nobody knows the cause for the fire, mm. for the attack. Yeah. But... Okay, I was going it's to been... take the envoys that came from the uh, from the, the different countries. So our president yesterday um, had asked the envoys who come from various about six um, countries, I believe, um, to be guided by diplomatic practice and ensure that their activities remain within the limits limits of their profession as they monitor the build up to the forthcoming elections. If you recall. Um, he had, there was a warning letter Buhari had issued about 11 months ago where he had um, warned the Czech Republic, Italy, Spain and Israel to stay clear of internal politics and remain within the limits of their schedules. So he had received the letter of credence from about six different uh, ambassadors from Switzerland, Sweden, Ireland, Thailand, Senegal and I think South Sudan. So he, was, he, had, and he, had, he had told them that it should... They are welcome in the country, but please stay within the limits of that which you've been asked to do as we approach the coming elections in February. So the um, Minister for Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, um, um, Malami, was talking at uh, the scorecard presentation of the Ministry of Justice performance under President Mohamed Dubwari, and he disclosed that 648 cases were instituted against the federal government and some of his agencies before state's high court, federal high court, and ECOWAS courts, mm -hmm. and that all these cases are, of, are at different stages of trial. But then he also gave uh, good news on the number of convictions. So in terrorism cases of which they filed, uh, they had about 3,000 terrorism profiled charges. They filed about 1,500. They were able to get convictions of 397. How that one, this, I don't know how to put scale that percentage of performance, but I think it's, it's, at least it's encouraging. And then they had a total of 7,000 cases involving various offenses around maritime, armed robbery, vandalism of electro, electrical equipment, and pipelines, financial matters, cybercrime, kidnapping, and anti-corruption, totally where they got convictions, about 7,000 under this um, administration. And so he gave... Um, call, um, recovery of monies as well. He said we were able to recover about 6.3 million euros, about 5.4 million, sorry, 6.3 million pounds, 5.4 million euros, and um, 390 million dollars from various jurisdictions outside monies that you know were recovered from the sale of assets uh, forfeited, um, uh, monies recovered from assets, and all of that, all of that put into. Um, major projects within the country were recovered under this and those were his co as a ministry okay let's go on a quick break when we come back we we'll continue with our reviews stay with us we'll be right back stay tuned your view will be right back this is seven of seven my name is oj and signing a severity into my hands tonight on the social experiment called the seven of seven is owen what is the name or what was the name you see i don't i want to make them better now rock heart no of That's the of the goats when they brought it on stage the name of that goat yeah we should go, we should go there no no that one that one easy now mm -hmm. i'm just drinking this so that i can ask him my own questions it's not because of Buga, he didn't get it. You, you know, even you know. Okay. Mention ten female stand-up comedians in Nigeria. See, just mention their stage name. If you annoy me, you will mention their real names and the year they started. And if you annoy me further, you mention the names of their husbands and the names of their children. Try me now. Okay. Mention their name. No, no, let's, name. Name. let's just. Mm, no way. No, don't, no. Even name, real name, stage name, husband name, children name. Ten yeah, of them. Even the ten. That's a lot. Eh? That's a lot. Did I cut your question for you? Yes. When you were happy now, now. Elelele began with your hands back. Elelele began. You are wasting time. We don't have time. See, my brother, hmm? before we go on a commercial break, yeah? you are stubborn. And I told you things. The fact that you play this your hair does not mean, you understand? See this bad hair you are looking at? It's experience. I've suffered before you. 
by China. Were well, you there during the military era of Abacha and the Babangi? You Gen know what happened? I'd be Gen Z. <laughs> so that by Gen Z, I, call for I will move four out of ten. That's like four out of ten. They pass it. Come do this thing. Where baby you are on here? Look out! If I land you, I have to test that again, eh? Have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities. Thanks for staying with us. We still have one more story in Punch YK. Yes, um, I am going to take this story about the unconscious, the lady who was unconscious after mm. she gave birth mm. to um, seven babies. Mm -hmm. Apparently, she. Oh, I have to tell you their names. Um, his, the father is Celestine Uzodike. Mm. So, Mr. and Mrs. Uzodike, she, they got married in 2020. And she, after she got married, she got a job with um, um, the Namdi Azikwe University as a lecturer. Mm. She didn't get pregnant till this year, last year, sorry, 2022, July. They didn't tell them, they told them they were carrying twins and she was okay till she started getting contractions in December. She went to the hospital and they gave her some medicine, the contractions stopped. But they started again this month um, um, in January and um, they had to give her a, a caesarean mm. to bring out. And the husband said, if he, because they told her, him that he was twins, wasn't expecting anything. But if he hadn't been in the labor room as they were bringing out the children, he said they were just being taking the body first one, second, <laughs> <laughs> third. <laughs> See, he was just seven. The, oh, the sixth one, the sixth one, eh? Natural, no, CS, CS, it was CS. Yes, I know, there wasn't um, in vitro because it's usually no, she didn't have IVF, she just oh, got pregnant. Dang. And um, as they were, he said the sixth one, when the sixth one came out, a girl, she was dead, but the seventh one came out alive. Now they've had to put these kids on, um, in intensive care, and you know, uh, cost of it, um, it's cost. 19 million. It's a lot of money. He, he had, a, he had to rally money. one point something million for mm -hmm. them to even admit the lady. Now he's begging, but please help. He has please a, 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 how do you have a number of babies? Some babies problems. naturally. Does that no. happen? Uh, it can yes, happen yes. now. Some people naturally. have. It can happen. Then, moral, the side effect, you know, she waited. She waited mm -hmm. for children. Mm. Of some of these fertility drugs, it's written in most of them because I had to read them. 
Is your, you have multiple beds. That's one of the yeah, side multiple effects. Multiple is two. Hey, that's what uh, you think. Not For some uh, people, several. when your body and God is in vitro, they didn't tell us the was a full gist. No, no, no. There's IV. I'm sure there's IV. No, no more. Okay. And she hasn't been paid. Since she's been working at the NMD, she hasn't been paid mm. the, because no. of the anyway, IPPIS platform. It's not our hot topic. Let's move it's on. It's not our to hot topic, but I'd like to put it to the NMBA state Please. government. She said they have actually reached out to her. Sure, they would have. But they haven't. People have donated. They have. Uh, she he has one fifty. Yeah. Uh, this is he, a no brainer. Everybody will donate. If you have to. The government will definitely support them. The best. I hope government. so because we have to do something. The something. hospital has been telling them that it's not good. It's three million for one child. Losing all the children for yeah. someone mm. who's finally been answered. So the government. Yeah. Number say government should. Money is zero. Is it not Soludo? Is that is my last friend? Daily Sun. Why wants international community on election? I took that story. INEC bows to pressure extends time frame for PVCs to January 29th. Government approves 24.4 billion euros for smart irrigation scheme. Um, FB recovers 6.3 million euros, 390 million dollars, and 5.4 million naira from proceeds of crime. DSS admits um, error in Okupe's arrest. Supreme Court gives Jail Umaboshi fresh date to challenge seven years imprisonment and don't hand Nigeria over to sick persons, says Peter Obi. Okay, which story are we staying? Okay, let me take the DSS arrest. So, um, Don Yokupe tweeted um, that he was arrested on 12th of January on his way to the UK after collecting his uh, passport that has been withheld by the EFCC for so long and the DSS came there and arrested him. But they have since apologized to him. They said they called it occupational hazard. hazard. They said it was an error. You know, I think they forgot that he got an, a, a conviction and he has since served his term, which was a fine. And he was a free man now. He was he could take his passport and leave. But as was, you know, he's uh -huh. been released since then, Sham. The, 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 he was put on the watch list in 2016. But mm -hmm. my own problem with this is, are you saying he has not traveled out of Nigeria since 2016? It's possible now. Passport was not with him. How did he go? Except no, this guy. He hasn't traveled. Mm. No, that's, that's, anything is possible in this country. That's unfortunate mm. for someone like you, but mm. other people, it's very normal. I'm not traveling since 2016, eh? It's not a big deal. Uh, look at who he's talking about. <laughs> someone like you, it's <laughs> normal. Yeah, like, ah, no, no, ah, no, no this is but, he, He's going for medical kidney. That means... He hasn't been for medical. He has not seen doctors since 2016. Yeah, it's possible now. Yeah. Let, me, let me take this story from Naseni. So, the executive vice chairman and chief executive of the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, Professor Muhammad Sani Haruna, yesterday said that the president had approved 24.4 billion for the phase one of the nation's smart irrigation scheme as the nation tries to promote multi crops season and farming program according to them they're going to be working closely with the czech republic to help in modern agriculture and manpower training in mechanized farming this is good news for a lot of farmers because they're going to be um, establishing six um agricultural machinery and equipment development institutes across the six geopolitical zones and for those of you in farming this is a good opportunity to learn more about mechanized farming and get some insights on how to uh, improve uh, farming across well, and they, I think this is a good initiative from Nasani. And I think they, they also talked about automobile. I, I read a story from them this week already. They're already doing another, uh, I think it's an industrial um, hub they were creating across three or four states within the nation. So, good initiatives from this um, agency. Moving on quickly now. So, to, uh, the, 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 yeah, the Supreme Court, um, they gave a reprieve to Senator Wabushi, who was jailed for seven years. They said that um, he, he was. Um, they gave the dates for his his, his appeal. appeal to uh, November 2024. That's next year. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they say, ah, ah, can you, if you give him November 2024, he would have served almost all his jail term. That please, so so they've now given him February 2023. Oh, okay. All mm. right. All right. Moving on, Vanguard petrol scarcity lingers as private depots sell at 240 naira to the liter. Obi challenges other candidates on educational records, health status. Headsmen destroy 30 hectares of cassava farm in Undo. IPOP disowns alleged female executioner. INEC extends PVC collection deadline to tw January 29th. Okay, which story? Enjoy headline. So, reality have come, sadly. Ipman is insisting that, you know, 
petroleum products will continue to go up till June when federal government removes subsidy. And Vanguard went to the private depots to find out and what Vanguard meant was 240 naira was what they sold this week. As against 225 naira per liter that they sold last week at the depots. So by the time the petrol, they come out, reach your filling station neighborhood, you know what you are buying. So um, they said this increase represents 6.7% uh, of that, uh, of the increase of uh, cost of petrol. And they went to the, what formerly, what we follow, formerly call the DPR, the Chief Executive of, Officer of the Nigerian Midstream Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, which was the former DPR engineer, Farouk Ahmed, refused to uh, respond to uh, Vanguard's inquiries on why this is happening. And they found out also that all the depots previously closed by the NMDPRA have been opened. So the Bluefin, Bluefin, Ran Oil, uh, Rain Oil, Adova, Nepa, and when they were shot for selling above 148 naira per liter when we were all shouting, have all been reopened. And other depots uh, were selling at 200 naira per liter. So this is just showing the irregularities. It's like they want to escort us to this removal of subsidy mm. by force, by fire. So yeah. I think we should just... The, the, the gradual ushering into that yeah. realization that we're going to consume a following and, product, you must pay for And a silence from the agencies who are claiming to be on top of the situation. That's the one that's paining me. Adi Abosi. All the pretense. So, 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 if, if they don't do Abosi, you will carry placard and don't. There is this Abosi. That is that Abosi. So they should be us. And that's the Nigerians. Oh, please. If we go the right way, they will, they, will, they will stop it. But if you use all this small, small gimmick, gradually they enter your system. You start paying for whatever you don't know. You know. Let's move on to it. Man. Um, this is really sad story. Painful story. Um, a gentleman, he was a former Information and Orientation Commissioner in Ondo State, Dr. Eddie Olafeso. He was saying that um, 30 hectares of his land, or cassava land, was being destroyed by headsmen and their car and their cattle. Mm -hmm. Said mm -hmm. that they, he de they, um, they destroyed um, products were estimated about 10 million naira belonging to his, his, his farm. And, um, and the entire 30 hectares of cassava farm were destroyed by the cows brought by the headsmen. And I mean, he was quite pained I and mean, he was close to tears while he was expecting. Mm -hmm. They to write to Someone Spotify. who watched it said he was almost, he was even actually crying. Yes, he was and really um, painful. Said the husband uprooted the whole cassava. They uprooted it and fed it, it, and it to the cows. That's the hectares of land. Really, really painful. And they've already Someone gone. They can't really find them. Oh, you I mean, can't find them. Fact, they've, they've gone already. Mm. So they plant them back on a harvesting of the cassava and they had to re reinvent the money actually in uh, more capital projects. But unfortunately, with this that happened, he won't be able to do that. He has written to the governor, uh, Governor Kerelu, hopefully. There will be some kind of I hope Amoteko can kind of investigate because, because they, they usually leave a trail. It's also, also written to Amoteko and they hope they could mm. uh, investigate this mm -hmm. incident. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how much minutes we have left. We, we have run out of time. Is there any important story in Tribune? Let's find a story we've not taken. Uh, I want to take the Ibiya land. <laughs> Let me see. You read it, ah, you read it please. Is, it, it, go on, go on, is it in Tribune? You. Is it in Tribune? Is it is Tribune? Tribune? Yeah. No official letter informing me of Buhari's visit. Ohino, he replies below. Government attacked vigilante operatives killed for in Anambra. Um, don't interfere with our election. Buhari wants foreign government as tribune. And Obasanjo denies writing UK on forthcoming elections. Okay, so that, that story. the president had visited Kogi State, and um, part of the duties was, was the Okinawa of Ebiland will be receiving him, and you know, part of just those ceremonial duties. But he wasn't informed officially by writing no, or no, not only was he to receive him, most was supposed to receive him in the new palace. In the new pa a supposed new palace he wasn't aware of. Mm -hmm. A yeah, supposed continue. new palace that he wasn't mm -hmm. aware of. And so when he was informed by the uh, chief all of that duties the night before at about eight something PM he prepared as to to receive him in his palace only for him to hear he was to be received. The sad thing was that he said the bombing happened that prevented all the preparations he had made within his palace to even host the president to happen. But then he is now receiving a query from the state government that he was not part of the entourage to receive the president. And somebody wanted to represent him and read a letter he supposedly wrote at the event held at another uh, mm -hmm. venue. Mm -hmm. And nobody has even referred to his palace. He doesn't know of a new palace. All this gimmick. Eh? Could give people. Why. 
Go oh. give people the other there was a grand reception held. Hey. Hey. And then and another then, person unknown to me hey. represented me and, and read then, out my welcome speech. Thank you. And now and they wrote him a paragraph of uh, several paragraphs of query. They have to hey. Easy, easy one. Okay, like easy one. The, the, number one. Let us go in. But <laughs> after if anyone is a rival, please be a yabelo for us. I beg. I is my god. I have relatives in Kogi. That's all we can take off one page if you when we come back, we're going to our hot topic of the day. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of the show where I really have a lot of fun. Why? I am highly competitive. I'm not going to ask you regular questions with me. I'm not well. So <laughs> you're going to be as nuts as I am today, yes? Ready, ready, ready. Alrighty. Hey, sorry, sorry. Can you can you put it down here, please? King Dion versus Tony. Oh, thank you. See all the Lee Kuku things you do, do they make me no no. Who said this? I'm not going to wear with the closer. <laughs> Girl, I want to make you closer. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> in closer. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much fun have you had on the show? 11, 10. 11? 10, 11? yes. Now we're going to terminate the show. Mm. Please. My producer, this is where we're cutting it. Cameraman. Cut, cut it, cut it. <laughs> you don't cut. Okay, I'm just kidding. The hottest music videos. Check it out, check it out. Let's go. Top in the charts right here on the Max World Chart Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Pounce member, dancing queen of the 80s, non conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and long standing member of the multiple award winning all female show, Your View. Omo Yeni, Yeni, and if we for Kuti, aka Yay! YK Power! Ginger! Today, today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Ha. Hmm. I know, I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah, wait, wait till your age. Close now. Eh? I said 1975. He said 73. He said, said 75. 75. I call him. Felicia wasn't even born in 75. Damn. So, will I drink out? Eh? You go drink too. Take, 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 take. Make I go make I help you. Rush and rush and rush and. No be half. Eh? Which half? <laughs> you will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Lights in, you know. Nepa, Nepa Road. Ah! <laughs> Nepa Road. Nepa Road. In Avel Kuta. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. <laughs> <laughs> it does start. Omo ah hey omi omo fella omi omo anikula pokuti. Oh no, baby, can you take a It's my audio song, it's not my audio hey, song. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of your view and I will be staring up our guests to get in depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on your view, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking 
advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. questions and if it's something that I saw coming I may not even ask questions I may just you know, I may even tell you I saw this what if, what if it's in person mm -hmm. but then would it make a difference where so like this person might just say you put, can just be on third me language <laughs> on a bike <laughs> and the person say babe I cannot do it again and you lose range <laughs> So, what would oh change? God. What would change the scenario? For, like, does it matter where? Do you want to have like a fancy dinner, like the film you were meant to be on? No, 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 no. Or do you want to be on the street? No, carry me. Don't go fancy dinner. Or even just, you might just want fancy dinner. Run for treadmill. <laughs> or you not a job. You don't tell you, you don't lose for your web. Now, don't turn oh attempt any more that. <laughs> so, what, which, which would it be? Because I'm like, in person, you have the closure that you want and a few injuries. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> that, that's one place. It could be inside the car. You can sit inside the car. Why car? Why not bike? Who will be driving? Why bike? Who will be no, driving no, at the this car point? will be stationary. Pray I'm not the, the one be, driving. The just will be pray. stationary. Because I'll go, I'll go mass at them. You can't be told me like me. I'm going to drive there water where we are. You must be considered. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. So today we're discussing social media and memories of things we post, how long they last, mm -hmm. if they can actually affect our future in different ways. I'd like to hear your thoughts because there's a story that caught our attention from, I think, a lady called Moore. And she was saying that uh, the story, I saw this story in, um, on, on, on an online blogger saying that um, a lady had lost a job opportunity after her prospective female employer ran a search on her handle and found malicious stories she wrote about the employer. Mm -hmm. um, now, these are, this is an interesting conversation because every day we go online and say things. I mean, many of us have been followed and trolled by different people. And these are the same people that in future, at some point, I might see one of them and you know, want to interview somebody and then realize, well, let me check your handle, see mm -hmm. what they're about, and then realize there's a trail mm. of, that shows how malicious they've been to so many other people. Now, these are, they call them um, online footprints that you leave about yourself, mm. that you don't know where it's going to bite you in future. You don't know. What are your thoughts on this? This is one, this is just one tweet, and it, it's the start of our conversation today. Mm. How responsible, yes, we're asking government to find a way to regulate social media. But how do we regulate ourselves? How do we, what are the things we need to put in place to ensure that we have a bit of control of what we do, of what we do? Please join the conversation on 0812705 You can also tweet to that TV. So can I please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Nima, let me start with you. What are your thoughts on this? Even you ask, I've not even finished reading the story. I'm just getting excited. <laughs> I'm waiting for my own opportunity if it comes, I'm telling you. <laughs> so this lady said, somebody had reached out to her to employ a person. Then she said, tell the person to send a DM. And then that one now fed back her sister who was trying to connect her with the employer that I tried to send DM, but it seems like the handle is private or I, or I have been blocked. Pretending she did not know the handle. Then the only the handle uh, the employer went on a handle and searched the handler handle of the uh, person looking for a job only to find out that in the past she had alleged 
in her writing on her post, which is why she was blocked, that she was an Olosho pro a prostitute and that she was snatching people's husbands. Mm. So you can conveniently sit behind a keypad now without a face, forgetting that your face facelessness will not be useful for so long. And see what she has done. Sometimes the sheets you sheet for afternoon, you can walk into it in the night and it will still be fresh, not dry. That's the kind of thing that this is. Because some people just continue to act recklessly in the name of this social media. Especially these Gen Z's, I don't know why. The thing that, you know, with social media, it empowers. And anything that empowers you, according to my belief, must humble you. Because it can be taken and twisted any time at all in life. Your time is now. When you're in that power, don't forget of the time of weakness. The Prophet Sallam used to say, compare your strength and use it to save up for your time of weakness. You don't know when it will come. This tweet is just so nice for this Friday. And I'm just enjoying it. Well, well, good for you. It's a good seminar for today. Interestingly, I met two of my trolls. I know them. I mean, I mean, they don't, they don't, even till now, as I'm saying this, they don't that I know that it's them. But I know them. And they are not aware. One is my, my husband's friend. My husband's friend's, you know, family member, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I know, I know the person's handle, and I know when the person is trolling me. Sometimes I don't, usually I don't read all of these comments, but sometimes they get the screen grab and send to me, like my husband and my and my and my show. They will just say something important. I say, Mara, please, I block this person, block this person. But there are some I leave them because I let them go. But this person in particular, I know the person's handle, but the person doesn't know I know her handle, and then, but I, I don't engage. I don't talk to. Her, I don't, I don't. I don't, but I know that this person is somebody that can come to me for something. Mm. And I already have in my mind that, okay, this is the kind of person you are. Not that I won't help you, but I know the kind, I already know, I like to know my enemies. You have graded. That's my, great, that's my own greatest strength. I know who my enemies are, and my enemies don't even know that I know them. Mm. The other person is a family member. Mm. Family member who I know, and this person, I know the person very well. In fact, over the uh, last year, um, I met. I won't say where I met the person, but I saw the person, and we just there, we laugh, we discuss. She has an idea that I know that she tweeted something about me that was so bad that now caused a lot of trend. I mean, like, like so about sixty something replies on her own tweet, which she thinks I didn't see. I saw it, but I saw her. I didn't even act as if I saw anything. This was when the whole thing of my husband can you can happen that my husband cannot be that true. Many years ago, she tweeted that thing. Maybe she just felt that I was a one-off tweet, but many people replied it, and then it shared it up. Mm, I still saw her. I laughed with her. I just with her. But she doesn't know that I know mm. that she tweeted it. No good. So, so I good just good good. Good. But it's just good to know this thing. I'm not going to use it against anybody. But in this case, I know the person I was able to say, ah, I'm not giving over. I don't know if they're not giving that person the job. But the person knows that ah, this person trolled me. I calls me an low show and I'm not going to give it. She's I'm not going to give her a job. I wouldn't give that kind of person ah, a job. Thank you. Thank if you. If you insult me or you... And then I find out. Mm. I may not ask you. I may not talk to you about it. But I will never do any favor for you. That's mm. it. Because <laughs> why? Yeah. When, when you have... Luckily, for, for, for anybody that abuses me, I, I hardly go to read... Uh, yeah. Negative, yeah. and if I happen to just come across it, I block the person quickly. I don't, I don't reply. I just <clears throat> quickly block you. You know, but some people reply, some people read, and it pains them. Yes. You know, because I find that there's nothing you can do about it, mm. and your blood will just be boiling. It's better to just quickly delete or block the person. Mm. Yes. That yes, way, too. your own. It will pain you for a day or two. After that. Move you move on. Mm. Um, well, I think the advice why YK, because even though we, we've experienced it, we can share our own story because we've experienced mm. it, but for the future, young people are being careless. Mm. Not even young people, I don't, because the people, the people I know are not young. One, one is in university, the other one is not, it's like my age, you know. So, it's not, they're not all young people. There's some adults that do things without discretion. They do it freely. Right. So, what are, how do we get people to realize the importance that every single tweet, every single message you post out there post, can come back and every single you. comment you make? So, let's even extend it beyond um, social post. media. So, I have a friend who I talk to um, a lot and she just come and say, I have one friend, just always tells me to be careful about you. I'll be like, then be careful about me. Can you please just leave me alone? <laughs> because Eventually, it was getting to me because that particular person I had never met. The, the, the conversation, she just called me out of the blue and said, do you know so-so-so person? Do you know that I sat for a full day and I cannot remember that person's name? 
I had to go online to see whether I can even see the person's face. So I don't know this person from anywhere. And this person visits her house and advises her every time. Like, say she be a spiritualist, that she should be careful around me. I say, okay, please. Me go on, I should be now careful <laughs> around people like that. So please, be careful around me. Let all of us be careful. You understand? For just my sanity. And you know, and that person will continue to emphasize it. Only for then, later, the person puts up an event. And that, friend, that, call, that person that calls me, ah, maybe if you had come for the event, I will introduce you. I said, God forbid, bad thing. May it not happen. The sun and the moon don't used to jam. May we never jam. Because I don't know this person. If you wake up from your house and it just comes from your, within your belly, to pass such a comment to a friend of mine about right. me, that friendship is not necessary. So, so it comes to things like this. Sometimes, eh, the signs you see, it doesn't need divination. Once you see your sign, you pick it and go. I would love an interesting conversation. That I would love. Between this, if the situation was one of the social media, I would like to engage someone who who's come on my page. Recently, there was a girl. I posted something about um, a religious video, I think. And then everybody underneath were commenting. I think towards the Christmas or so. So people were commenting. And then there was this particular girl there who said, I insist she's a bigot. I insist, you know, and she, such hateful comments. I wanted to avoid usually i don't read i don't respond but the tags were pulling me because my you will see when you're tagged on something and i went to the, i read it and I, I just said i'm so sorry you need help to the girl she came back there i posted another thing writing all sorts of things and then i went there i said oh i think i thought it was small but i think it's worse than i thought mm. and i left it there such a person if i ever met her i would love to engage her so that you know you see me online or you see me from the show and you pick your choice of words. Mm. You do not have my background. You didn't grow where I grew up. You can't even exist the kind of circle I move with of all religions and all faith. You are certainly the bigot. So I would like to see you up front and see you stay in my life for a day or two right. before you yeah, conclude yeah, 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 so and go online and write it. I this back to this conversation because I know it's really, really, I mean, it's, easy, it's difficult because we, we experience this and that's why it was easy for us to understand this this person's situation. But it's important for us to use this show as an opportunity to help people understand, to remind them of the importance of their comments, their tweets, their posts, and um, their pictures, how far you go, whatever, because these things are there for life. I mean, I have my own demons too that I'm biting online and okay, I wish I never posted them. I wish I never said that, I, you know. But whether I like it or not, it's there for life. Our kids are still going to see it. You know, you still have to ask, your child will still ask you, Mommy, why did you say this? Is it true that you said that? It's right there. So mm -hmm. these are things we must face as we're growing and as adults. And you see, this age is different from the age where I grew up. The age where I grew up, it was newspaper. You know? And with newspapers, you, they could you use newspaper to wrap akara, use newspaper to wrap dundu. You, un unless you go to the company, you will not get that newspaper again. But you see with online, with uh, <laughs> the latest technology that yes, they have. You don't forget it, you know they delete. <laughs> I was even saying, if your phone, if you take a picture with your phone and you, you delete it, somebody who is an expert will crack and you and you flash your phone mm -hmm. can still come and bring out that your naked picture. Yes. So when you know you are taking your naked picture, know that you are proud of that naked body. Yes. And <laughs> if it ever comes to light. Mm. You will stand by your picture. Yeah. Everything we do, especially with this technology, <laughs> it can bite you back. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for even taking me there because I was actually going to wrap up, but I then realized that many of us, we do, you were not around when we discussed it. We, we, as adults, you're in a relationship, you get really vulnerable and you just let your guards down. You take pictures of your nudity, you know, you're in that moment, mm -hmm. I miss you, you miss me. We're talking, you know, I never even knew that. I mean, it was, it was not too long ago, it was last year, that my brother saw me having a video call with somebody. And he looked at me twice, like, why are you having a video call with somebody? And I'm thinking, it's just a video call. He said, ah, you can't be having a video call. Who is, who is this person? He's like, eh, he's, he's like, no, 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 no. Ah, because in his head, video calls is a bit more impersonal. It's now where you're now talking to, you know. So he immediately realized, I'm like, no, that person, don't be, don't be video calling with anybody. If he's a friend, you can do audio call. In young, young people's world, yeah, video calling is a way that you're, you're starting a, some kind of relationship. And I made, I never understand that. Of course, that's not what this is. But he made me realize how people are doing video calls now and recording and snapping pictures. Mm -hmm. You're doing something with them and they'll just take it as evidence yes, and keep it. Mm -hmm. 
and, and they then keep they can, it. They can keep it for different things. You never know. Don't, it's mm. too risky. They can keep it. You know, with somebody, you don't even know who the person is. They, they, they will keep it. They will take it out of context. Exactly. You can, if you say, I am black, mm. for instance, as opposed to I am yellow, <laughs> the way they will put it, they will join I am and put the yellow <laughs> in the place of the black that really? you say. Well, they, they, they take it out of context. And it's, it's so... I think that people should just have conscience. Mm. Mm. But then you... It's not everybody that can have conscience. I mean, when you, when you think of the one that happened in Naramba where they beheaded, I, what, what kind of human being does that? So they are human beings mm. that that's are not sick. human beings. Yeah, they're sick. Somebody can actually take a picture of you in a video call with somebody, remove your outfits, remove your clothes, make it, maybe for example, if you guys take a picture, edit, edit, it. edit it, it that you are, that you are naked. Hmm. And then they post it and then put, put it in. So, so many things are happening that we have to be very, very careful. I, I, it's not as good. I have, as I have as certain good. rules that, because what you don't understand is better to stay away. No, nobody, I don't know, some people will just sit, they want to reach out to you, they send you, a, they try to call you on Instagram or Facebook. I know they pick, if you're not a family member, what are you calling me online for? Exactly. You send a message. You try to, if whatever you want to say, type it. If you cannot, don't send it. I will not take it. Yeah, I, I don't even like video calls. If you are not my daughter, don't video call Why me. Why are you video calling me? Exactly. Let me take this no, call from Damola. Good morning, Damola. Are you there? No stress. Hello, good morning. Yes, you're live. Hello, good morning. You're live. Good morning, Damola. Good morning. I want to talk about the social media and sort of that. I feel that the ladies are more affected. I can't hear you, Damola. And I wish you see some comments that I read about you guys. And the best thing to be serious is to avoid them and have somebody and you can tell you that seriously um, distort people out there. And so you shouldn't even have to look at those things unless they affect your person. Because they know what you're going through, I don't know what you're going through. And then the advice I have, and I'm wondering, why does this make anything happen to all you do? Why I'm not seeing a guy in love and and then we see it on air and somebody somebody is even against them. Is that what is very easy? I feel like it's just the careful. We know she is careful, you're not the only one in love. Right. So Thank she, you, Damala. she was talking about, you know, the comments that you know, sometimes when you do social media it's better not to read comments for your sanity. And then why do naked nude pictures when they actually come out mm. affect women more than men? Well we have but, to wrap up on this, but yeah, I think we, we just, why, why you wanna say something? Yeah, I was going to say like you said, someone said earlier, the footprints stay yeah. there forever. Yeah, forever. Yeah. The, you, anything you do, just take responsibility for what you do. Yeah. And just know that it might come back and bite you. Like this, mm -hmm. this girl who calls someone an illusion, who she didn't know. She did not, she just accused. You know, you didn't yeah, know her before. Yeah, yeah. Can you remember the tweets? Well, I can't remember her name of that girl that died on the train. Mm. Yes. Mm. And yes. the girl tweeted, I'm, I've been shot. Yes. And she Hateful. went for her. Hateful comments. Yeah. She went for her. Hateful. Yeah. And she had to delete the tweet in the That's end. Mm? But if I ever remember the person, if I ever meet that kind of yeah, person, I would I never, never respect her. I would never I don't do want to have her. Exactly. If I screen shot that hand, because that girl handle, later died. Because I've screen shot that handle, kept the handle of the person that did that, find out her picture, see the person, I would never have well, There are people who will find it out for you, even though it's been deleted. That's the point of the old message. Yes. Once you do that thing, Without conscience, it remains no matter how you do it. So be guided. Let's you put empathy first. Anytime we want to do this kind of social media comment, you want to comment, take a while and ask yourself, is this real? Is, is this me? Does this reflect your, you yourself? I said maybe yourself, you're just evil. You enjoy, you enjoy people in pain. Because somebody tweeted that she's been shot. The least you can do is leave that story till it's verified. Mm. Mm. As long as you have not verified it, don't come there and say, Died your go to hell. And all of such nonsense horrible. that they wrote in comments. I mean, that was horrible. The poor girl later died. You know, I, I remember I tweeted a, a video of myself. I was at a party last week and I was dancing. So I put it on Instagram. I see me enjoying some of the comments. <laughs> when I was reading the comments, I was laughing, but I could not say anything because she'd been a me Twitter by myself. <laughs> she'd been a me poster. Not the person post down for me. So, ah. If you like, like abuse me. me. If you like, <laughs> praise me. But why abuse? That's what you don't understand. They have to run. So, this uh, video of uh, my people in Nesako that with the snake.
I mm. posted. I was informing you about something from my place. Okay. If you are from my place and you want to, you want to um, reboot, reboot, uh, or reboot what I have said, ask an elder. Ah, see what Nima said, though. Esako people, you are from Esako. You show your ancestors, the people that know better than you. Ask them, is she lying or is she the truth? Don't come as a 21-year-old and come and dispute something that I have said without any knowledge. And from that place, I have never heard it. You did not ask. I grew up with old people. If you ask your elders, you will find that story to be true. It took a while for people of like minds who have, who have knowledge of the custom of the people to be coming out and say, mm. this was a practice. There was a circumcision practice that I found out when I got married. Mm. That used to be in the olden days. My grandmother said didn't do that, that custom, that ritual in the village. So, but if I, I said people don't do it in my place, wouldn't I be lying? But if you ask my grandmother, yes, it existed. We used to do it, but it's since stopped. So, 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 uh, uh, but in the past, stopped it. Ask your people. Don't just come out and be typing things just for the sake of being correct. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we try to take some calls and comments on this. Stay with us right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, ambassador of Edo people, we have... Etinosa, Idemudia in the building. <laughs> don't be fair to go police station, they win the case. Is so she? you don't, you are showing no, your face. I go, I go see that's my second question. You are feeling like a, a contact the prancing peacock. I'm about to cut your wings. Hello? Now, in the amalgamation of 1914, who was the woman that. who said, who drew the line of the amalgamation? They, who, who, cut, who cut the report? Who is the best that uses us? What is it? That woman. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, you have done me, Jerry. I've marked your face. I've marked your face if anything happened to me. Today. I don't, I don't if I don't reach my house. Anyway, I'm going to be shuffled, so. Mm. You remember now, Avi? Eh? <laughs> yeah, but you never took the name. Now you remember. Hey. If a person who indulges habitually in watching a sexual material is called a voyeur. That's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> you clearly don't go even get the hey, next one. Hey, hey, a voyeur. A voyeur. Then go on. What is a person who makes one? A called? voyeur. <laughs> a voyage. A bon voyage. Your stupid mouth, you show exactly what you know. Hmm? What? You are drunk. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> you can't defend your wife anymore now, Julius. Right. None of this is his fault. What's going on? I can't explain, just come. We are the, the Drojais. We, we are, are the Aquans. We are the Obiores. So, how are you two doing? Who cares? She's a rude girl! You are a stupid man! Oh, Miss Bula, you, you are, are a stupid crazy. woman! <coughs> I mistakenly carried her bra. Mistakenly. Hey! You <laughs> took my bra! Who gives you the right? He said he can't face you. Uh. <laughs> this is interesting. What? I thought all we were doing was for your own good. Which is to get back. and you just woke up, what would you like to eat? This is an old comedy script. Who is this mysterious guest? I know the name. She is the brain mm. behind all the stars. He's even sleeping with her under your nose. Excuse me? Don't you think it's too early? So where is she? You better stop talking! I can't take it anymore. Just so you know that. <laughs>
chair. Be beautiful. Thanks for staying with us. You can call us on 081-270-53687. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweet. But discussing the responsibility we must begin to have when it comes to social media, what we post, what we say, um, our pictures, what we comment on other people's posts. These are all things that indicate who we are. <sighs> it, it, point, it points uh, on our character, um, the kind of person we are, and these are things that employers look at. These are things that um, in, in, um, possible relationships will look at and review to see the kind of person you truly are. So, especially if you're a young single guy, you're trying to date a woman, and you and yeah, on social media doing a lot of negative things. Not time to toast a girl. The girl goes to your handle and sees that you're actually want the, the king of trolls. You're the ones that you're always insulting people. You These like, are things that around. turn people off from you because it tells on your character. It tells on your thinking capacity. The kind of how 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 you see the world and how you see things. Let me take a few comments on social media. I want media. to take Why this here? comment. It's very important so that we can clarify. It's Prince Ajibade Isaac says, are you saying it is wrong to criticize public office holders because we might need their help in future? And that's not what we are saying. Absolutely not. Because um, that's somebody taking it a different way. So, so, so there are people who criticize, and there's nothing wrong with criticism. Criticism, it's fine. What we are alluding to is the fact that when you insult, when you troll people on social media, these things can come back to bite you. Now, when you insult or criticize a public officer for something he does, mm -hmm. that is your own expression. That's your own thoughts and process about what he or when she is doing. It's not an insult. You are focusing on the job he has done. Okay, sir, you do not do the pumping machine. You do not do the road. You do not do this. You are focusing on issues. When you start to attack his character, Oh, you are this or you are that, you are foolish, you are stupid. With then us, it shows us. the kind of person you are. And that, 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 that person you are can affect your further and future relationships. That's what we're saying. So there are different things. Criticizing, criticize issues. Be responsible in your criticism. But when you insult people, it tells on who you are as a person. And that's what people must see. Let me take this I'll come to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, will I be? Good morning, are you there, will I be? Oh, sorry, we lost that. Sorry, Go ahead. Well, John Wachuku says regarding social media, we should be very cautious, especially posting sensitive information such as bank accounts online. Um, um, Afo says it is delusional to expect pleasant comments on. Oh, okay. Attacking the show says that it is delusional for us to expect pleasant comments on the show. Apart as regards, work, that's a given because this morning I just called out a code school. I have a relationship with most of the staff there i've been under that school for years but the service is not top notch and i'm, I'm tired of making phone calls so sometimes you t say uh, the truth but what i'm saying i can verify i'm not coming out to just come and hit on a on a an institution it's poor service you can call that out you can talk about say the truth but somebody created a lie carried my picture put it on a post a blogger and sent it out and and brought my kids inside Something he could not verify and hid behind the keypad till today. And he thinks that, oh, if I meet this person, this will slide. If I, if I ever find that person and the name that I have is the same name I'm being introduced as, I would not welcome that person. Because that's a wicked person. That's deliberate evil act. I think coming, going on social media to say, Oh, this person is an only show, mm -hmm. or this person is a prostitute. Uh, when you have you, no evidence, you, not, you are not married. They do not collect your husband. <laughs> you, are, you have no uh, evidence that the person is a prostitute, and you go there and you say you are a prostitute. You are this. I think it's not responsible. Mm -hmm. If I post my naked breasts on social media, and you come at me, I deserve yes, whatever comments you get. Comment I get because I posted my naked breasts by myself. Nobody posted it for me. So if you come and say, your breast is not fine, ah, she be not me post some. But if I, I post my naked breast and you come at me and say, you are a prostitute. Yeah. Okay, let's let my, my, my posting my naked doesn't make me a prostitute. Somebody so post, let's, 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 let's talk about freedom of speech and expression. It's free. Just, just to um, um, elaborate on why case example. So somebody posts a breast, no face, and you come and tag, deliberately tag YK. That, that breast is why case, and then you start hate comment on why case. Why is wondering why are people calling breast? I did not even know 
Even when if she's coming for own faith, then somebody puts her own faith. No, the point, no, let, let, I'm let, saying let, the level let, of okay. The, the let's book. look at the flip side. The flip side is the freedom of speech and expression. Mm. So even though oh, this is um, Joy's face. Joy put her entire nudity on social media. Now I'm looking at Joy, and I call her all sorts of names. Now it is my free, it is my freedom. I, I have that freedom. To say what I choose. And there's nothing wrong in you expressing your freedom to the point you want to. What we are trying to say is that as you're expressing that freedom, know that that expression can affect you in future. You can, you can call the person, you can insult them, you can call them good, you can call them bad. Say it as you wish. But know that because your footprints are there, in future, you might end up meeting that joy. For a job, you might them, she might actually be end up being your boss at some point, and then realize that she might even end up being your sister in law. Be, be your sister in law, she can be and then she comes inside family. You so, cannot so, verify what you have said. So the your point is, done we must understand that everything we say, we must be responsible for it. Very important. Because mm -hmm. we can come back. So the, that person is trying to make it look as if our own show. There are different things. We you can you can say whatever you like. Ah, we've been attacked now. We get attacked. Ah, attack day, 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 day. Every day on social media, it's, it's your freedom of expression. You can attack. We cannot say as you wish. It becomes it's fine but understand be responsible for the repercussions of that speech against me or against whoever it is you're doing it um i think we're going to wrap up on this because i'm told our celebrity guest is here we're going to go but but in the nutshell i think we've already um hit huh? this we've reiterated it several times yep. we must be responsible on social media that's pretty much what we're saying uh, because no matter what we do it tells on our character because at the end of the day when the dust settles we all have to be responsible and take ownership for every single thing I, I, we post. I want to give you a very good example. Um, I met a Antnam in, in London. He's one of our YouTubers. He's one of our mm -hmm. YouTubers. And I met him. Now, if Antnam had been someone who just used to come and be abusing yes. the show, he, yeah. he would not come up to me. He would Absolutely. not be able to come up to me. Absolutely. But because any comment he makes is responsible and, and it's not always positive yeah and then they don't make always positive comments about the show yes. if he feels something he will say it Constructive. but he has been responsible yes. about yes. whatever he has said yes when he came up to me i was uh, happy to meet him yeah if he had been someone who said why can your head is not correct <laughs> why are you a fool Nima, you are mm. this what sorts of things i will just if he, he will not even come up to meet me because yeah. eh, I will just run. Hey, to go. All right, we have to wrap up. That's all we can take on this segment. Just be responsible with whatever you post. Yes, sir. When we come back, we're going to bring in our celebrity guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Lush hair. Lush hair. Be beautiful. right back. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> in the view, <laughs> it's still 707 and we've been doing a whole lot of protesting, protesting. The only thing that remains is just to carry a placard. It's about five or seven to be honest because, ask your question, I have so much to speak about once we finish. We will not give you the time because it's seven of seven. I will make the time now. <laughs> He said he will not ask questions about science. No, 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 He asked a question that was subjective <laughs> about high life. And he did not finalize his answer about a kuti question where there are only three of us. Editor, scratch this part out. That could out. have possibly <laughs> composed the music. Editor, scratch this part out. Stupidity is an act of ignorance. Hey God, my day. Was composed by which Kuti? Femi Kuti. Is that your father? Oh God, I'm Shimon Kuti. No, wait, wait, Femi Kuti. You said Femi Kuti. Kuti. Wait, wait, wait. You can't be allowed. No, you've you not asked me anything. Everyone. You've not asked me anything. We, we, uh, so my final answer no <laughs> all i have to say is yeah. this show is really about drinking yeah that's the whole idea the questions don't matter <laughs> that's the whole just idea just this is out the window <laughs> with your questions we have no morals here on the seven of seven <laughs> Just...
that's on that angle. So Laifa had a very, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want to work with who? Not the There's no judgment. No, uh, and I respect, oh, judge you I respect this judge you. certain type of people. But what I dislike so much is when they, they tend to come to work and then they pour all their resentment on them. you. Is it me that offended you? <laughs> I'm not the one. I have no business. Mom, just come out with you, pay me at the end of the month and let me go back to my house in peace and sleep. But when it comes to like divorced people, I cannot work with a divorcee. I can't see myself doing that. If I find out, if you can hide it or not, but if I find out. What if they are nice divorcees? I would just. What be, if they are nice? Okay, now it depends. If you are nice, cool. But if you are the type that you don't know how to keep your anger to yourself, you always you always pour it on somebody. Well, I'll not drop my resignation letter. No matter the amount you're paying me. So you're <laughs> more passive aggressive people. Yeah, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. Oh, definitely. And I cannot work with stingy people. <laughs> ah, see this one. Because you cannot be passing me in the morning afternoon. I can say, oh, ah, yeah, I'm working. Oh, yeah, take hundred naira. Take ten k. Take fifteen k. Don't, no, you don't have to be my sugar actually. daddy or sugar mommy. What, what, see, the way you treat others is the way they will treat you outside. Yeah. And if you cannot treat your workers well, they are not a good boss. If you cannot be dashing me small, small thing or giving me donuts when I'm when I'm working, you are not a good boss. But- A.K.A. Sunday, Okonkwo, A.K.A. Cross. <laughs> Are your intro without him? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you say I should drink. There's no particular answer. <laughs> you think it's only that can be wicked? What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? Sort of huge. Such a huge. S U B T E R F U. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who go know what to be called hustle, hustle, hustle. <laughs> yeah. The nude wasn't like a game plan. Or... I promise you, be- be- it was be- actually a mistake. Be- like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the grand comedian of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Benga Inka the first. <laughs> OJ right here, seven of seven, like you already know. Mega right seven, like I'm beginning to know. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's now time for the question. You don't scare me one bit. Bata bata, I go drink. So, okay. so now one chance for time. My first question. Do you remember the names? Thanks for staying with us. Joining us on the show now is an actress, filmmaker, producer, entrepreneur, and brand influencer with years of experience yes. in the Nigerian movie industry. Welcome with us, Tony Ibrahim Ajayemi. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Thank Good you to so much. have you in the building. Thank you. So we've been hearing all over the place, Ijakumo, Ijakumo, Ijakumo. What's going on? This is a new movie that is trending like this. What's the movie? Tell us about the movie. Um, it's about a pastor. You know, I actually saw the story in my dream. You know, there was a time I wanted to shoot Laje. So I've even been to Oshobo for Reiki. So I slept and I had a dream. I'm not joking. You know, most times I dream a lot. I, I get, yes, I'm gifted. But I just, most times, you know, you just don't want to follow mm-hmm. it. You just ignore. But now I've made up my mind to always follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. So. I, so I saw it in my dream. In fact, in the dream, it was a YouTube movie. So a lot of people were telling me, ah, why would you make this kind of film for YouTube? Do it cinema, let it be big. But I'm happy I made the movie. So it's about the pastor, you know. It's about people, what they do. Double personalities. Yes, it's who they are. That's, 
mm. so who they really are mm. you know some people that come outside pretend to be all good mm. you know like our society we feel oh the people that talk they are being themselves they are the terrible ones the ones who are calm oh only only they're the good ones but let I me think. pause you for a second because i want us to watch the clip uh yeah. please let's see the clip of ijakumo yes please now i want us to give the almighty god a shouted raven Because of that, I'm not getting with that. 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 Mama is on the phone. <laughs> Whoa. That was some powerful stuff. And that's in the cinemas? Yes. When, when, is, when is it coming to Festival Mall? Uh, it's every uh, hey, my <laughs> It's everywhere. In fact, it opens at um, regular cinemas in the United States today, okay. and Odeon Cinema in UK today. When in Nigeria, ma? Nigeria, well, started well, since twenty third now. Oh, in fact, so if I go to it's um, gross, you know, Genesis it's or one of those cinemas, it's everywhere in Nigeria. Oh, definitely. Even okay. the smallest cinema. So let me ask about the. I will go with my partner this weekend. Please yeah, do. You yeah, yeah, will love it because <laughs> I, it's, it's actually. I will love. Let's talk about um, the the writer, the script because. Sometimes when we mm. see movies like this, we wonder, is it really real? Or just want to just woke up one morning and just come up with a story and then put it out there? Because many of our mothers, they believe that everything they see on Hollywood. Ah, it's real. Shelley, ah. Shelley, and I'm thinking, after that, I'm like, mommy, please. Mm. So, I mean, this is just it's fiction. fiction. It's just fiction. But is this inspired by real events or is it pure fiction? Like I said, I saw it in my dream, but I realized that a lot of people can relate to it. It's relatable. Mm. It is my story. It is my story. I was telling us something that is rated. We have nudity, we have some like sex, everything is, is actually rated 18. Because if I really properly want to tell my story, I need those things mm. to be there. Mm. So it's, um, it's some, something I saw in my dream. And I know it's relatable because I know, yes, it's happening. I've had a lot of stuff. But it wasn't a true life event. event. But it was something I saw in my dreams. Yeah. But you can relate to it. Mm. Fantastic. I've seen I've seen um, a lot of your work. I've seen um, Elevator Baby, the marriage uh, celebrity marriage, and some roles that you do. You make it so real, make it almost as if you've lived it. How do you fall into character? Is it because you've seen someone who's done it in the past, or it's just something at the time you you it's enter analyzed. into? How do you how do you get into character? Um, you know, in life. Some people learn things, some people are gifted. Let me just say I'm talented, I'm gifted. So because I can, I can, yes, it comes naturally. So I can't really explain. I didn't learn it. When you give me scripts, I just read. Then maybe because I'm, I'm a free-minded pe person, I'm free with everybody. So when you give me a script, I'm sure I've met someone that behaves like that. You understand? But it's not something I'm I trying to remember I think this gifted. one that was a, a, an epic movie. I guess you call it. The role was such that it was really traditional. I, I said that I particularly watch your role twice because of there was a gunshot and it was almost like there was a flashback. I was a bit okay. confused. I had to sit on that particular part twice watching it again. 
And for that is why I'm asking the question. Because that is something none of my uh, generation would have experienced except maybe we see people do. And then you played it so well, it looked so real. Yeah. It must be something inspired from someone. Is it Ageshikole? In Ageshikole, that role of the king's wife and the I mean, witches. That movie was fantastic. Was fantastic. Yeah. Relay, relay to the producer. Um, like, yes. 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 I started my career as a Yoruba actress, and these are things we've done in the... I've done a lot of traditional movies. So I'm sure because this is like the first time something of such is coming to the mm. cinema, so to me it's no big deal. Mm. This well, film that you're talking about, that you saw it in your dream, did you see the whole film in your dream, or did it just come in flashes, or how, how did you actually dream it? I saw everything. Oh, I saw wow. the whole film. But you know, yes. But you know, when you are, there's, there's a difference between movies. When you're, when you are, then when you want to write a story, execute. when you want to execute, thank you, when you want to execute it into a movie, you, you cannot, there are some things you, you put, there are some things you remove, there are some things you have to put so that yeah. it will be at Elijah. least, yeah. yes, That's then it will be more entertaining. So we have to add some things, remove some things. Wow. But the concept, the story, actually saw it was a film i saw people i saw people coming out and they were telling me you know dream is it comes in a mm -hmm. funny way you know imagine people coming out from youtube and telling me ah feel me i don't go so why will you put such movie in mm -hmm. on youtube why not cinema and they were coming out from youtube so i was like oh so i woke up i just sent a voice note mm -hmm. to one of my wow. um crew who mm -hmm. happens to be my friend tunja for lion mm -hmm. is the act director so i just you know said ah the story is crazy. So I now called my writer, who, is, mm. who happens to be Kende Joseph. Mm. So I called Mr. Kende. I told him the story. I was like, Tony, if this is not the best story I've ever heard, this is going to be one of the best stories. And when Kende, when Kende Joseph tells you that Kende is big, mm. like mm. one of the biggest writers we have, <laughs> I'm sure in Africa, is big, you know. So when he tells you that, know that, yes. Yeah, because please. sometimes when you call him, you tell him story, we just tell you, okay. It will go. You will not see him again. <laughs> because I think sometimes he doesn't know how to tell you that I don't like the story. I can't write the story. Well, lazy folks like me, I mean, many of us are very lazy. We're just so used to Netflix, Prime Video. You know, like that's the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. At some mm -hmm. point, should we look forward to it coming on, on, on any of these um, oh, yes. online platforms? Yes, of course. Venture. After the... Uh, make like your money first. Yes. Oh, we're don't we're don't money. answer lazy people. We are making at least, we are, Nigeria, we are over 200 million. Perfect. And um, we are we just opened today at Regal Cinemas in the United States. Is Where in the United States? Pretty big. Maryland, all the Atlanta, Europe. Houston, New York, um, all Auckland, Philadelphia. Okay. Yes, almost all, all the Regal okay. Cinemas. Okay. And we are in like eight sites: Odeon, Greenwich, um, Surrey Keys in UK. Okay. Oh, there are so a lot of so people here that are quite happy to see you on the show. Mm -hmm. Someone says, Gladys Oyebo says, beautiful actress, Tony Abraham, um, and world best. Someone is calling you world That's best. That's my name. Hey, yes. oh, someone else is saying, wow. Plenty of okay. people are really happy to see you here. Fantastic. Don't worry. They are, we're going to go on it. I wanted to ask, to ask a question. So, um, being someone who's done movies that I've seen on large scale, this is not your first time in the cinema. I can count this. This is my fifth time. So, we know that you have experience what what is it like funding production because i find it when i see some level small small people coming out and say i'm an actress and a producer i'm like ah, is it everybody that produces mm. as how is cheap is this production team mm. yeah what exactly how is it funding a full production like it thank you so much for this question mm. trust me this question means a lot to me you know some people think i sh back then they think i shoot a bad movie no I don't shoot a bad movie. I shoot a low-budget movie. Mm. You know why? Because there's no fund. I'm an actress. This is the only thing I do. I tried going into business, but it doesn't work for me. I just realized business is not my thing. My thing is to do movies, act, then talk about other people's products and get paid for it. Render services, you know. So I stopped. So this is the only thing that puts food on my table. And I'm not from a rich home, you know. Everything you see, everything I am, it is God and my hard work. Mm. And huge thanks to my fans, Tony Titans. I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. And to my wonderful team, thank you guys so much. You know, so it's the money that I have, the budget that I have, I'm going to shoot with. 
Ishali mm. Lojali. Mm. So if I have three million, I would cut my coat according to my size. So when you see it, it is not a bad movie. It is not a bad story. But it's a low mm. budget. Mm. Because sometimes I'm supposed to use maybe champagne here. I'll go and look for maybe one cheap thing or water. I'll just, oh, just use, I won't even, I just won't. So you will yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I might want to get an apartment. Okay, see a rich person. Okay, imagine I have three million to shoot a movie. Mm. And there's a house. Okay, we want to try and do good. Maybe governor. Or maybe a senator that is rich, a rich person, and I get to the location, and I have maybe like twenty-five cents, and you are telling me to pay five hundred or eight hundred thousand per day to shoot in the house. Is a little more than it. Yeah. Are you getting it? So I will have to cut. So at the long run, you will now say I will just use one small plate. But a lot of people will not focus on the story. They will I just there are things like bank of industry and organizations. Hey, it, you like just it. hear about it. It doesn't. It doesn't work like that. But now. My last movie, The Ghost and the Tower, was better. But this, I'm sure this is one of the mm -hmm. best movies they've ever shot in Nigeria. I'm saying this with my full chest. Mm -hmm. And I shot with a lot of millions. Mm -hmm. 2022 Rose Royce. Yes, there are some locations. There's my godparents. There are some I paid for. Mm -hmm. You know, my godparents, Mr. and Mrs. Fakwe. Yeah, there are cars. There are um, yeah. boats, some things, you know. But now I, I can confidently tell because I shot for like six or almost seven weeks. Wow. Because, yes, because there's money to shoot. shoot mm. right. There's money to shoot. So it wasn't, so it's not a bad movie. So now everybody's, oh, it's yeah, more wonderful. Because there was fun, there was money. Mm. And my yeah, brand is bigger. I can talk to okay. brands. Yes. I have like three brands gave me money. I don't want to mention brand's mm. name. So now I can walk into any brand and tell them, okay, I need it's you to money. support. They, they will because now they trust my yeah. brand. Yeah. Mm. So, Fantastic. So think, cool. Congratulations on that. Thank you. So I have to go on a break because. Mm. We've discussed your career, Ijakumo, what's going on. Now we want to gist with Tony Abraham. Because and we want, want to, to ask you about these uh, trolls. We want to have, we want to talk on, to you about on family, on family, marriage, being a mother, um, being you, a wife, the whole thing. Stay with trolled? us. We'll be right back. Yes. Okay. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the part of the show where I really have a lot of fun. Why? I am highly competitive. I'm not going to ask you regular questions with me. I'm not well. So <laughs> you're going to be as nuts as I am today, yes? Ready, ready, ready. Alrighty. Hey, sorry, sorry. Can you can you put it down here, please? King Dion versus Tony. Oh, thank you. See all the Lee Kuku things you do. Do they make me no no? Who said? Yes. Oh, okay, every day, closer. <laughs> Girl, I want to make you closer. Okay, okay, okay. I'm in closer. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much fun have you had on the show? 11, 10. 11? 10, 11. yes. Now we're going to terminate the show. Mm. Please. My producer, this is where we're cutting it. Cameraman, cut, cut it. Cut it! <laughs> don't cut. Okay, I'm just kidding. The hottest music videos. Check it out, check it out. Let's go. Top in the charts. Right here on the Max World Chart Show. think you can outplay me in this game of wits and knowledge? Can you go seven rounds without flinching? I meant answering seven questions correctly. How well can you hold your liquor? If you're curious, then join us for the most exciting conversation and games with your favorite celebrities on 7 of 7.
Thanks for staying with us. We still have Tony Abraham with us, and uh, we're going to go into your family and um, you be your mother. Mm -hmm. And how has it been raising um, your son? You know, it's not been it's with your career, with your family. How how do you juggle it? I hate to ask that question, but the truth is that we do juggle. How do you juggle everything together? Um, I'll say you thanks to my husband, Kola. He's a wonderful man. He's a wonderful father. My mother-in-law, she's always there. You know, it's, it's not easy. You know, right now, I understand why I chose Omotela Jolada as my role model. It's not easy. You know, now once... You know, sometimes now I get weak when people come into my gym. Please, can you support me with that? Can you support me with this? Once I hear you're married and you're working, oh, God, I just want to go all out. <laughs> because I know what it is. It's not easy, but we'll keep pushing and doing it, you know. What's your support system like? You just mentioned your mother-in-law, your husband. What role do they play? So if you had a location to go to, do you go with your husband because he's also an actor? Or does, does who, who stays back? If you had to do something, and would they compromise and stay back? Yeah. Okay, for instance, you know, when I'm shooting my movie, my husband, my cinema movie, my husband might need to be on set, you know. And because of everything going on around, you know, with children, mm -hmm. I just call my mother-in-law. My mom is a pastor, so she has churches, so she's always in busy. on mountain or in church praying mm -hmm. for people, so she's busy. So I'll just call my mom, you know, she's always there for me. Mm -hmm. And most times when I'm not working, my husband is home. When I'm, when I'm not working, I'm home. When he is working, I'm home. When I'm working, he's home. Mm. So, but most times, when we maybe we are working at the same time, then my mother-in-law will be oh, What kind of church does your mom pastor? Is he Pentecostal? The CAC, Christ. Oh, I'm ah. CAC. I'm a CAC. Gideon. Pombele. Yoruba. Yoruba. Oya. 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 <laughs> I'm just watching her. You know, I'm fascinated. I'm just thank you, ma'am. You're fascinating me. Thank you, ma'am. Tony, you changed your name from I used to know Tony Ayimako. Yeah. Then suddenly Tony Abraham. Then yeah. due to marriage, of course, AJM. But what led to that change? Because you know there was this a bit of controversy. There was no. Was, it wasn't because of I'm an actress. Controversy would come. What happened? There was there's nothing. It was a family decision. Okay. You know, it was a family decision, and um. A lot of people, my brother, I have an elder brother who has a dance group, one of the biggest dance group, but his name is David Abraham. Mm. And he has changed, he's a long time ago. I was thinking about my career, but mm. that's, it's part of what I t told you at the beginning. Sometimes when the Holy Spirit speaks to you, you need to listen. So it was a family decision, it has nothing. Controversy will come, there's nothing. I've chosen this path and there's nothing I can do about you it. You still go to church? What kind of church? I, I go to church. What kind of church? Once do you well, I don't want to lie. Uh, do you still do the CSE or just do Pentecostal? Um, I follow my husband to Redeem. We go to Redeem in Lekki. Uh, that's but, church. But I, I'm a CSE. Inside, inside. Inside. I'm <laughs> that's <a> church. church. <laughs> so I was going to ask, you know, because before you came, we were talking about trolls and th there was this girl that she had trolled somebody that she didn't even know. Then later now went to go and uh, get, uh, ask her for a job. Yeah. The woman now says, send me a direct message on a, a DM. When she DM'd her, she just saw her handle, went back and saw that she had called her Olusho, called her all this and said, you can never give you work again. Do you get trolled like that? Do people just come at you for no reason? How do you handle it? And, yeah, and how do you handle it? I guess I'm an actress. I'm a public. I get trolled every day. Every day, I'm sure. Some people will still throw me like this. You might not just want to read that out. <laughs> you know, I get trolled every day. But even if I see a troll, someone that have trolled me before, I will forgive. I have forgiven spirits. That's how I was brought up. Hey. But yes, of course, I oh, forgive. Nice. It's nice good now. It's Let's talk about good. marriages and crashing, especially in the celebrity world. In yeah. celebrities, and you're really holding on to your marriage the best you can. Yes. What do you think makes marriages crash? How do we, how do celebrities learn? from you, at least so far, that your marriage is intact and you seem to have a very supportive family support. How do celebrities in your situation, how can they learn from you? And what are you doing right? Well, marriage, is, marriage does not have a manual. Because the man you married is different from the man I got married to. Mm. Who you are is different from who I am. 
So marriage does not have manner. Mm -hmm. Marriage does not have manner. But the only thing I tell people that are close to me, young couples, that, oh, and say, Tony, how do you do? Only thing I usually tell them, marriage does not have manner because sometimes when you ask this person what happened, you will say, Taba fungwe re loko, o maru so doare. So if you ask some, oh, Mariah, what happened between you and A, you will say things that favored you. Yeah. When you ask B, it's he or she is going to say things. Them. So the point is, marriage does not have manner. But what I would say is, don't be carried away by you being woke. Mm. I'm an African woman. I respect my husband. I honor my husband. I tell him everything. I listen to him. Mm. I he commands me. When both and of I you follow. have different backgrounds and different way of thinking, how do you compromise? Because many marriages, especially celebrities, the wife is making so much money. She's 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 a star. Everybody knows every enter. And you are lucky. Your husband is in the in the celebrity space. But some husbands are they are not in the celebrity space, and they are finding it difficult to manage that. That's the mistake you people make. There is difference between fame and there's difference between money. I have been popular for over twenty years. I started making money. Maybe five, six years ago. Mm. I now I became a millionaire maybe five, six years ago. Mm. All those years that you people were thinking I'm, I wasn't rich. Mm. So fame is different from, being, from wealth, from riches rather. Mm. So you, you people always mix it up. And the point is most times, it's not just celebrity marriages that crashes. Okay. A lot of marriages. But yeah. because we are in the limelight. And moreover, Mariah, even journalists, bloggers, Com um, um, the Nigerians, um, mm. community about Nigerian people, comedians, do you know the people mm. you don't even oh, society? Please. Thank you, you don't even help our marriage. Okay, let me give you an example. There is this guy, he's a comedian, he's like a son to me. I'm not a child, mm. everybody thinks because I look young, no. So he was hugging me. In fact, it was my manager, Sheon, Otumba Sheon, that was doing the video for him. Was, was hugging me. The next thing I said, I said, ah, dirty woman. I said, oh, she's a married. Oh, well. Because I am married. Yeah, I, I, don't. I even replied to one of them that, because you didn't see the full video, someone that kissed me. <laughs> because I usually tell truths. You will throw to a level that there's nothing to say again. So to me now, you have, they have showed me to yeah. them that there's nothing yeah. for you to say. Yeah, absolutely. Do you understand? So they started saying things. I will usually tell them, the eyes that you are using to look at something, it might be different from... Yes, now. So, do you understand? So that's just the honest truth. Mm -hmm. And they started saying, so because I'm a married woman, someone that can actually be a mom or a big auntie cannot hug me cannot sleep on my chest like what are you guys thinking mm. Mm. you know so that's the way it is they bully us they say all sort of things so imagine my husband is not an actor um, he understands he's not understanding yes like now if i'm on set there's no how the production wants to be mm. if my husband does not get through to me obviously there's someone on set my husband knows that will yeah. call oh muncha la tikbe ya wumi or he calls me ayomi muncha la tikbe ya yomi me will get through see Sometimes when I call my husband, he doesn't pick up. I call, hey, don't call me, call. I'll call them and yeah. I would like to say, I'm going to call you, three cooking. Yeah. And they will knock. Ababa, I've been calling, okay, sorry, sleep, just to check up on him. So imagine that my husband is not an actor. Mm. The way they will see things. Ah, and what's she doing? I can't reach her. And the way is that your husband? No, no, that's my manager. Okay. Yeah. My, my husband is at work. And because the way people see things, they've made social, mm. something that you would do when people come on social media, they make it look like it's something else. Right. You see your mother scold you. You see children come on internet to say, I'm emotionally live down. I'm emotionally live la What happened to you? My mother just talked to me. She insulted me. After talking to me, my mental health can fly away. Come on, girl. Your mental health cannot fly away. We, after talking to us, they will even flog us. So let me take some tweets. All the tweets are favorable to you. Oh, uh, on the TVC Connect, our fans are like that. So, um, OpoYek says, um, Ijakumo, hashtag Ijakumo is the GO80, that's the GOAT, greatest of all times in recent times. And then she put, um, said, there's a story, she put a little description of the story. I'm sure this one has gone to cinema and come. I want to pay us, but no problem. Kalipaka says, You are special. Uh, that's what I wanted to read. Oh, okay, go on, please. Okay. Uh, he said, You are especially welcome, Ma, to our view. 
Mm. We love what you're doing. Yes, Keep sir. it up. You're yeah. going to surprise us, surprise the Nigerian movie industry with more peculiar movies. Nice one. Let me, I want to correct Andrew. Yeah. Andrew said, I've always liked the roles I've seen to in. She always comes across as Omo Ekoti Ogbagbere, but still a lovable person. She must have a big heart. She's not Omo Eko. She's Omo Ochi. No, I'm Nigerian. I'm always saying that I'm not a Nigerian. 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 i not a Nigerian. i not People are just talking about possibility of running for office. Do you think it's something you might consider in future to run for office? Because you look like a first lady kind of, uh -huh. a first governor kind uh, of thing. Into politics. Um, maybe. Mm. But I'm just a little bit, uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm an emotional person. I'm mm. compassionate about things. I'm so passionate, rather, about things. So, and you know, if you want to lead people, you need a little bit of madness, Chris. Yes, madness. I, mean, I can't watch people. Cry. What do you What do you think about you know? Recently, there's been this attack on celebrities when they express where their political biases lie. And we know in politics we all have our biases. How have you seen the coming at your colleagues for their for expressing their biases where their political affiliations lie? And what do you think about it? They've How would you deal with such? They've done, me, they've done it to me too. I was just laughing. It's normal, but I think this is a good platform to talk about it. Mm. So I want to use this medium to beg everybody. You guys should stop. Let people be free to choose whoever they want to choose. Choose your own candidate. Let someone else choose their own candidate. You don't have to push another candidate. You don't have to push it down my throat. No. So choose your candidates, and I'll choose my candidates. Mm. Let me take a boss idea for me, Kurudu. Good morning, a boss idea. Are you there? Yes, I am there. You're Good morning, live. Who are you? I'm a first-time caller. Welcome to the show. I'm also excited that Toi is here. Yes, she's in the building. Oh, Toi. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. We love you. We love you. We, everybody in my family knows I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you are doing great and wonderful work. Thank you, ma'am. God Almighty, we continue to bless you. Thank you. God, we continue to help you. Every area of your Amen. life, you need God to. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God, we help you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much for what you are doing in your Yoruba industry. We love you. I love mm. you. So you. God bless you. Love you, ma'am. Uh, yeah. You're so popular. She is. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, you're over 20 years, years in the industry. Bishop so, <laughs> Atalia um, um, says, I love the love between Toyin and her husband, Kola. Mm -hmm. And I mean, everyone here is just loving you. It's just something. Yeah. Okay, let's take a few more comments. So, um, one of the biggest actors in this industry is vying for the post of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State. Mm -hmm. And you know, are you supporting her as a colleague? Um, and would it be fair, you know, if you're if you're supporting her or not, or who will you be supporting for the post of the governorship? Do you okay, have I'm going to explain some things. I have said it, and I'm going to say it again. I am not going to campaign, but I may wake up tomorrow and say I want to campaign for someone. Mm. But for now, I am not campaigning mm. for anybody. Okay. I want everybody to make their decision. Mm. So when the trouble comes, or everybody will cry his own cry. Do you understand? You will not say, because I know I have influence. And about that, I would not let, we are all women on this table. Mm. I will not let you people use the gender card on me. Mm. I will support mm. someone mm. who supports other women. Mm. And I will support someone who is competent. Mm. I know that, yes, can handle people, can handle crowd, can handle things. Yeah. Mm. So, and um, I am a mother. Mm. I've got kids. And every child out there is my child. Right. So I'm not going to jeopardize the future of our children mm. and the future of this country. 
because of gender mm. cards or because I have a colleague. No. Yeah. I saw you recently, you were really happy that Governor Sun was looking for your event. I mean, you even did a special post to thank and celebrate him. You would, somebody would think you have a very good relationship with Governor Samuelu. No, I don't have a relationship with him. I sent him a letter. It has always been my dream for a governor to come to my event because I'm... Well, I think he's nice like that. Yes. If you just... You, he, he, if you invite him to your event, he, he, he just comes. He's, he's actually a nice guy. So I, I... It has always been my dream because um, Mami Buki Wright is my boss. I remember years back, she, she had an event so a governor came and you know i have a lot of dreams and just one is remaining i have like 12 dreams and everything has come to pass. he is so it's one of it mm. so i sent a letter you know and i told my i told shame or to my shame i want him to come i said this is a good movie they said i should bring the letter i took the letter they keep saying write this write i wrote it and they said it's going to come I didn't believe it. Someone just told me he's outside. Trust me, I wanted to freak out when I saw him. Because I know he's a very humble man. And he's, yeah. he's a good man. But you were really one of those yes. celebrities that spoke against him doing that answers, Was it? I mean, was it him or just the whole system? Because I remember there was a time you were taking a match. Up, ah! So I was just wondering, why would you even think of inviting him in the first place? I don't speak against people. Mm. Once I stand to speak against you, that means you're the most terrible person ever. Mm. Because I see good in everything. I don't speak against him. I speak against the system. Mm. If there's something wrong with the system, I'll talk about it because I'm Nigerian. Mm. Exactly. And I'm still going to talk about it. Police brutality needs to stop. Absolutely. So he needs, we won't go to police. We will go to him. So there's a reason why I'm going on and on about politics because yesterday, AY, the comedian, posted, you know, answering someone on Twitter that you can write whatever you want. Nobody will go and look for Johnny Saike too. But if the moment I write my affiliation, some of us, you want to kill us for where we belong. So which is why I'm going on and on. We have a presidency uh, election, presidential election at, uh, before us where people are making it seem like someone came to my business space and was asking me, who would you vote for? And I told her, she was like, eh, hey, I'm looking for position. As if it has to be <laughs> for something. In this arrangement, what would you, would you be able to say, this is my candidate? Like everybody else. Is. Like everybody else. Mm, you know, like I said, I don't want to influence anyone. Mm. I've got influence on a lot of you, and I know. Mm -hmm. And I, I will say it again. My Tom will speak for me at the polling unit. Would you do it for a price? God forbid. God forbid I do such. God forbid. I won't do such. Mm. I'd rather be a pauper. You're so honest. I just like you. Thank you, man. <laughs> I will never. I will never in my entire life. Mm. I love Ashiwaju, and I'm speaking about myself. Mm. I love him. I might vote for him because I love him. I don't have not decided. I'm just saying it. Mm. And because of the things he has done mm. for my industry. Yeah. What's your choice? You can choose. No, I'm just telling you. Yeah. So, but I'm not going to use careful my not own to influence. No, yes, I'm not going to use. I, I feel. Oh, I don't. I'm not going to use my own you maybe selfish interest mm. Mm. to to to. To, 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 yes, to lead others. He has, been a, another five. he has been a wonderful man mm. to my industry. He has been there for people. Mm. When we had nothing, he has been there for my industry. So I'm, I am speaking from my own. Mm. From Onuwatoni Abosedi, Dada Abraham Ajayemi's perspective. I am not speaking for others. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. He's a good man. Oh, yes, my tomb will speak for me. Right. Let's come back to your years. career because we're going to be wrapping up very soon. I want you to go back to Ijakumo because um, is there a role, is there, is, there a, is there a script you can do for us? Because I saw you even doing the, while we're showing the, uh, the, the trailer. Okay. Yeah. So give me something that, do that, make, that, that will make me no, go to, I'll start. Go and watch. Agbomi ni wo le eja 
a tun di ola nitori wi pe kini enu enu bai lese fin pe ku ejo no ade wale are you mad or something i got to find out i got to eni dada eni dada wu awu yale yaji oko you know i'm actually dada well mm, what does that mean so you grow with um, my mom oh, like oh, oh, that does in the real i mean my mother you are more like no that i'm right no that i'm right you see here oh my god this is my life i'm so pure you know this life please dada this is our american you know what that let me explain that my stepmother we call her dada So I thought maybe there was a mean. I've never asked her what that means. No, that means so. So I said that in Nigeria is different from cheese from uh, Republic of Benin. So okay, that that's why. So I thought maybe so I was thinking that maybe that okay, is his no, name. No, no. Let me know what that is. All those people that have please. Got, what's his <laughs> no, I I was just thinking that that is what that that. We will okay, throw you. you. We will throw, throw you. I will throw you like right that. <laughs> please, oh, tell us again the cinemas that are going to watch so that we can go and look for it this weekend. Okay. In Nigeria, in America, in London, in Cairo, in deep. We are going to be in Nigeria. Tell us in Nigeria. So. <laughs> um Ijakumo the born against Tripa is still showing in all cinemas in Nigeria. Mm. We've been showing since 23rd of December and it's still showing well mm. still Oriwa and Bell or long could someone know bag be yala ye anybody. So we're still showing in all cinemas nationwide so go out there and support me and please tell your family Ijakumo started showing in regular cinemas. Today. in united states today and odion so you can go to, you can get your ticket from www.regmovies.com or rega hub and for uk family you can get it at www.odion.co.uk please kindly support your girl john to roll on eje king john your girl we can oh, take on today's show we have to wrap up this love for you a fabulous life. weekend we'll see you monday you know me, i'm loving you thank bye you for so now. <laughs> bye <laughs>